seeing here is yet another breakfast and coffee from River Rock Roasting Company. This breakfast burrito is so good. This got us energized for a two hour drive from Hurricane Utah to the Vermilion Cliffs National Monument, where we'll be hiking the Wire Pass Trail. All right, we are on this like back dirt road to get to Vermilion, which is kind of exciting because it's like a little more out in the middle of nowhere. Eric is getting some good pictures of uh, these mountains right in front of us that are pretty cool. It's a good time, we're getting closer. We still have like 18 minutes on this dirt road and we've already been on it for like maybe 10 minutes. See, where you're on this road for almost half an hour. I am white knuckling this <laughs> because of how bumpy it is. Josh is fine though, but we're five minutes out from the trailhead and I can't wait to get on the ground. <laughs> That was a crazy drive. All right, so this one has a sign that says like all kinds of warnings, like make sure you have four liters of water per person. And uh, do you know how to navigate on a trail that isn't clearly marked and stuff like that? Cause this is much more back country. You can get lost or overheat and down this long dirt road. So this is a different experience. So if you're looking for like the next step up or next challenge, less touristy, this might be the move for you. You can get a permit to hike the Wire Pass Trail in two ways, online ahead of time or by scanning a QR code at the trailhead. In 2021, it costs $6 per person or pet to enter the trail. Just know that service in the middle of pretty much nowhere is not very reliable, so we recommend doing it ahead of time. The Wire Pass Trail is about 3.7 miles there and back. We're gonna see how we're feeling at the end of it because it then opens up into Buckskin Gulch, which is another trail. Um, but right now, we're just kicking it. There we go. Now I think we're coming up to the narrow part. But just for future reference for people, it took us a while to get here, like two hours. Okay. To drive here, not to walk oh, here. Oh yeah, to drive here. So we're kind of in the heat of the day. I'd recommend coming a little bit earlier because a lot of that up to this point was out in the sun. There is wind right here, which is so nice. It's shady, it's breezy. We're coming up to a ladder, I think. <laughs> it drops down. Oh my goodness. You got this. Oh, that was so easy for you. I'm so nervous. Wow. We are above the trail. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna go down first. You guys there? Oh, how'd you do that? That's gonna almost slip, though. Right? Hang on. How did you do that? Just put your foot there. There you go. Jump. <laughs> oh, wow. This one definitely. Oh, look, there's a lizard. Oh, this one gets tight. This is probably the tightest one yet. And then the most shady. I am extremely claustrophobic yeah, as a human. Like, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, no. It's honestly not that bad, Erica. I know, but it just freaks me out. How'd you get down? Put your you hands hold on my like, hand? Put your hands on both sides of the wall and just oh. let yourself down. Venture girl, venture girl. <laughs> oh, wow. This is the end of Wire Pass. At this point, we can either turn back around so we hit that 3.7 mile mark, or we can keep, oh my gosh, look at that view. <laughs> or we could keep going, oh, there's sand in my eye, um, where Buckskin Gulch is, and we can go like maybe a mile in or half a mile in just to see what that looks like. I yeah, I think you can go like way. left up there and it looks nice. Yeah. I think so, you can also go right, but that looks kind of sunny. I think we might as well go up a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Let's do it.
this is buckskin gulch wire pass where we came out is that way we're kind of headed back that way now but apparently there's an elephant rock that way and then there's a canyon if we would have went right out of wire pass all right can you tell which direction we went I think that might look like an elephant. <laughs> I was like, I guess we'll recognize it when we see it. And I would say that looks like an elephant to me. Looks like a little elephant walking right at you. Why? These rocks are so cool because they like obviously fall off the top or something. So watch your head. They make these like splash marks, which are crazy because it's soft enough to go in and have the ring like kind of come up but then it like hardens fast enough that it just stays like that now we're headed back the way we came we'll probably head back towards the car then we'll head to uh coral pink sand dunes state park we've got three miles to get back someone tell us what this hand print is you'd think it was a hand but there are claws. What is that? That's not a handprint, is it? Unless somebody made those claw marks. That's weird. I don't like to be under rock arches, but I saw this handprint from afar and I was like, oh, what is that? And then you notice like all this like writing, which I think is vandalism, but they got a nice handprint in there. We are on the long part, which is out in the open sun, like no clouds in the sky. I think we have about half a mile left yep. till we get back to the car. But we chose right in the middle of the day. Guys, if you're coming here, go early in the morning, because this is gonna feel a whole heck of a lot cooler in temperature than right now. Bring a lot of water. But it is pretty. And you got the blue sky, so. Haha. Mm -hmm. ha. Oh, yes, six miles. Ninety-three. Ninety-three. I think it just said ninety-four. My AC cooled off the world by one degree. Or cooled off Utah by one degree. As the car cooled down, we made the hour drive from the Vermilion Cliffs to Coral Pink Sand Dunes State Park. Formed by the Navajo sandstone that surrounds the dunes, this incredible park offers beautiful pink sand dunes, unique wildlife, and apparently the chance to find Bigfoot. When we came into the park, there was a sign on the window that said, ask me about Bigfoot. And we asked him about Bigfoot and he said, go to the overlook and then walk out in between the two sand dunes. Take this sand dune and that sand dune. And then take a picture with him and then bring it back to the visitor desk. So, so we'll who knows what that means, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> gosh this is fun but a challenge <laughs> this is again different from everything we've done so far oh my gosh cool in its own way getting up this hill is crazy sand dunes are constantly changing so if we were to come back in a year from now this pattern of like sand dune would be completely different it's amazing When I was running up the slope, I found a lucky penny. Under that tree, it looks like I see a person or something. Something big and hairy. I don't, I don't know what it could be. Oh my God, that's so cheesy. Oh my gosh, we found Bigfoot. Oh, well, he has like a purple eye. Well, that's scary. I don't know why everyone is making such a big deal about finding him. He's right here. Did I walk all this way just for me to buy a t-shirt? Yeah, we can get a t-shirt now, babe. We're really hoping for a free t-shirt. Dude, that ain't even worth it. 
What do you mean? We should have to see Bigfoot. That is creepy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, my body. Oh. I need a break. Oh, we need to take a picture with this thing. Get your phone out. His eyes look so real. Yeah, this might be our hardest two miles yet. This is a mile out, now it'll be a mile back. But every step in the sand, every step is like half a step because you sink. And then your shoes are like a pound heavier. Eric has discovered a new way to walk in the desert. Very flat footed, like a snowshoe and you don't sink in as much and it makes it easier. Desert tricks with Erica. <laughs> we found the pink coral. Look at that. That's awesome. It's so weird looking. Well. That's really cool. Yeah, look at all this really cool coral. Also, if you step in other people's footprints, it makes walking a whole lot easier too. It's crazy. There is the lookout point. We're parked just on the other side. We're at two miles. It's been an hour and 16 minutes. That feels like so much more longer. What an experience though. Like do it, but just be fully prepared. Oh, just land. Oh my God. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, solid ground. Let's see how much sand we got. Final sand dump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is at least a pound, maybe more. Oh my gosh, it is just gonna keep coming. It's like a magic trick, really. And then it's like in every sock and crevice. All right, let's go to the gift shop. Let's see if we can get a t-shirt. Oh, you just, that gecko just ran right under my legs. Really? I was like, what is running at me? <laughs> All right, babe, hold up our uh, spoils. <laughs> I saw Bigfoot at Coral Pink Sand Dunes. Okay, it's a low-key, really nice oversized t-shirt that both of us can share, <laughs> but we still had to pay for it. It was $12 instead of $15 if you posted your picture on social media and hiked to the place. We really wish we could have gotten it for free, but I still really like the t-shirt. We're so supporting a, a park, so yeah, it's good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. And we get a nice little souvenir out of it. Yeah. <laughs> there is um, cow crossing signs all over the road here, by the way, which I've never experienced before. It's pretty cool because we literally just saw a cow cross the road. <laughs> Hi, cow. Hi, cows. Here we are. Let's do it. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Wait. A little nervous. Once we see it.